Okay, so let's take a look at a second equation here. Um, we're just going to practice more graphing inequalities and shading the inequalities. So we have an expression here, 3x minus 4y is less than 24. So our first step here is going to be put this into the y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to move the 3x over. So this is going to give me 4, negative 4y is less than. Um, I subtract 3x, bring it to the other side, and then plus 24. Then I have to divide by um, negative 4 because I have to get y by itself. So that's an operation I have to do on both sides, dividing both by negative 4. Now the only thing what happens here is whenever you divide by a negative, you need to flip the inequality in the expression. So this is now greater than. And then we are going to work out our slope and intercept points here. So we have negative 3 over negative 4 which is 3 quarters x, and we have 24 divided by negative 4, which is going to give us minus 6. So this means our b, which is our y-intercept value, is negative 6, and our slope, which is the rise over run, is 3 over 4. So we can now quickly plot that. We know our y-intercept is negative 6, and we know our slope is going to be a rise of 3, and then a run of four. So go up three squares and then count over four squares. Okay, and then you're gonna do that. You can do that a couple of times to get your three points so that you can verify that you have a straight line. And then we need to know, are we going to create a solid line or a dashed line? So this just is greater than, we don't have the equals to part. So this is going to be a dashed line going through your points and then we need to determine how do we shade this okay so what is the shading rule so let's change color here we know we have a greater than symbol here okay so this is um, so this is a greater than okay so this means we are going to shade above above the line. Okay, so that means all values above the, the current boundary line, which is just values right here. Okay, and then if we did the same thing, we could pick a test point to see if it's true. But we don't, you know, we don't need to do this because we this rule works every time as long as you put it in that form of the expression. But if we pick a test point, we can use the origin. 0, 0 again. Okay, so then I will put in my value for um, y. So this means y is greater than 3 quarters times 0 minus 6. Okay, which means we have an expression here that says 0 is greater than negative 6. So again, is that a true or a false statement? Okay, so this expression, 0 is greater than negative six, that is true. Therefore, we have shaded the right region on that side of the line, okay? If you wanted to verify to see where it's false, okay, then we could just pick a test point below the line and we could plug that in and then you would see that the expression is not true at that point, it's false. So um, we would not be shading that part, okay? So that's another example of how we do um, plotting an equation and then we shade it.